SpaceX cryotests their fully stacked Mars rocket for the first time, but is the program sustainable as inflation makes materials harder to come by? There is another Starlink launch scheduled for tonight, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. After the past couple of weeks of cryotesting, over the weekend, Forge grid fins were rotated for the first time. Like Falcon, these will be used to steer the booster during descent through the atmosphere. On Monday, Ship 20 was moved back to the orbital launch tower's rocket catching and stacking arms and was promptly hooked up and lifted 24 hours later. This is only the third time in history that a Starship Super Heavy has been fully stacked, second time using the tower to make it happen. For those of you who are new to what's going on, if humanity will ever venture further than our moon, this will be the rocket to make it happen. Over the past few years, SpaceX has been building and testing a fleet of these vehicles because it will take a fleet to colonize our neighboring planet. We're currently at the stage of attempting the first orbital launch, possibly with 420 here, but first the FAA has to give the green light through an environmental assessment. Their decision is supposed to be released at the end of the month, unless they scrub it again. In the meantime, cryo testing is king. On Wednesday evening, for the first time ever, the fully stacked Starship Super Heavy was filled with liquid nitrogen, and it was executed via the towers and launch tables quick disconnect systems. It's not clear how the cryo test went, all tanks were only partially filled. Of course, more tests are expected before any launches take place. Booster 4 will need to static fire all 29 of its Raptor engines. Normally, I'd say I'd be surprised if they did this with Starship on top, but as the construction of the new and improved Starship Super Heavy 24-7 catches up down the road, is looking more and more plausible, 420 may end up being for ground testing purposes only anyway. We'll see. By the way, the Brownsville International Airport did receive its Starship today, as promised by Elon a few weeks back. Ta-da! Well, you know, they got part of SNA. Still, that's more than what I have in my yard. NASA is also super ethereal about their plans to use Starship to return to the moon for the Artemis program. They released a PowerPoint of the human landing system that contains some interesting intel about the flight profile, but also how the agency is already working on specific crewed elements of the Starship lunar lander, like the crew and cargo elevator and airlock. However, Elon Musk told me last month that on their end, SpaceX is currently focused on just getting to orbit. Elon's guesstimation of when humans will walk on Mars has slipped a few years to 2029. Could be the entire process of getting there is harder than expected, or could also be external factors like politics making materials harder to come by. Tesla and SpaceX are now seeing significant recent inflation pressure in raw materials and logistics. Well, definitely can't say I didn't try to warn everyone. Go back to sleep. Despite the world falling apart all around us, SpaceX is still trying to do good by sending more Starlink user terminals to Ukraine. The third shipment arrived earlier this week. I think everyone gets the old evil reference to the Soviet Union. I mean, even Elon's been watching too much Rocky IV and now wants to fight Putin in single combat. But somebody please clarify what this guy means by the new good. We know that we not only fight for Ukraine, we fight for this new world order for the democratic countries. Oh, so that's why all these globalists who've done nothing but shit on freedom are now throwing up Ukraine emojis everywhere. National dictatorships are bad, okay? International dictatorships disguised as democracy, good. New good. Kevin, God damn it. Sorry, I forgot I'm not supposed to ask questions. Don't question the talking heads. Never question the science. Just not in compliance every time the government gaslights you. Critical thinking is for conspiracy theorists who somehow get more things right than the media. It's better to just be a fool. That way history will continue to repeat itself and World War III will be the next crisis elites use to push the Great Reset while crashing the US dollar to remove it as the world's reserve currency. Which circles us back to SpaceX. It's important to know why all this is happening. And I hold those who want us to shut up about it personally responsible for the damage. Since finding affordable materials to launch non-ballistic rockets is still not entirely impossible yet, SpaceX is scheduled to send another flock of Starlink satellites to orbit tonight at 11.24 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be going live for it here on the YouTubes for those of you who wish to join me. Should be a good time. I'll be hosting another bonus segment of Elon's Base Twats. Elon's Base Twats. Monday was SpaceX's 20th anniversary, and they celebrated externally with a compilation video of their achievements as a company thus far. Netflix also just announced a new space documentary they're releasing on April 7th called Return to Space. It looks dramatized, of course, like showing the deliberate in-flight abort explosion out of context, but you know, I might watch it. By the way, Netflix is also facing child pornography charges. And now it's time for today's honorable mention.
Yesterday, NASA rolled out their first moon rocket from the VAB since 1972 in the days of Apollo to Pad 39B at the Cape. Before the Artemis 1 SLS can launch the Orion spacecraft on its unmanned flight to the moon this year, it needs to perform a wet dress rehearsal, the final stage of testing, which includes filling her tanks up with 700,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen and conducting a full launch countdown over the next two days. If you wish to learn more about the Artemis 1 mission itself, check out my previous episode. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. My appreciation goes out to those of you supporting the channel on Locals, where everyone can sign up for free if they choose. Have a nominal weekend. Be seeing you tonight in your sleep. And until that time, Godspeed.